Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a little update on the convertible, but also show you how we do dual fuel. So I got a lot of messages and questions after I made the first video about this, about uh, dual fuel and how to do it with Holly EFI. So uh, this video is going to be the mechanical part of it. And then after this video, I'll make another one on the setup and programming in the, uh, in the software. So this is a true dual fuel system. Um, this is this cell here. You can see where this weld line is. Um, this is two cells in one. So this side here, the small section, this is uh, this holds eight gallons of methanol, and then the larger section, where it goes out and over here, holds 15 gallons of uh, pump gas or E85. So the idea is to be able to drive around whenever I want on 93 or E85 flex fuel. There's a flex fuel sensor under the car. And then um, and then race the car on uh, on M1. So I used a, uh, there's a fuel level sending unit on each on each one, right? There's two different heights, and I'll show you that underneath the, uh, underneath the car when I get under there. But this is a fuel pump module uh, for a fuel cell from Holly. So it has two Walbro 450 liter per hour pumps in it. And uh, it's a drop-in piece, you know. Uh, it's actually pretty slick. It's got the fill cap right here. So, um, there we go. So you got a little fill cap. So you put your, you know, gas pump in there. And then um, your feed and return are right there on the top of it. So uh, this will, we're only going to run one pump at a time here. So in essence, I'm keeping one pump as a, uh, as a spare on board in case one of the pumps dies. And then this, you know, will be mechanical. There's a mechanical cable driven pump here. So let me go under the car and kind of show you some stuff here. All right. So here's the cell. Let me zoom in on here. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So here's the cell. So there's two different heights, right? So this is the methanol tank. This is the uh, gasoline tank. So you can see how it comes further forward, you know for all the, uh, all the capacity. This is just a drain. So if I wanna drain this thing, um, uh, you know, just pull that off. So we've got the methanol feed line comes here and comes over to the mechanical cable driven pump. And then um, and this is the cable that goes forward. Anyway, then the hose comes out of here and goes to a system one filter, which is not tight. Uh, and then goes up and feeds underneath the hood. So remember that when I'm about to show you what's on underneath the hood. For the pump gas side of it, I'm using a little Corvette um, C5 uh, regulator filter combo. These things are like, I don't know, 100 bucks or something. I bought two of them so I can keep a spare. I like to buy a lot of spares. So you've got your feed and return, and then there's only one line that comes off the front because I'm deadheading the fuel system. So, um, so let me show you that. And you can see it's a little bit of a mess, so don't judge me here. But um, yeah, the fuel lines go up. Oh, while I'm under here, there's also a Motion Raceworks um, flex fuel sensor up underneath the ear. So that's on that deadheaded line. Right, so that deadheaded line that comes across from the filter regulator combo goes to the uh, flex fuel sensor and then out of there and goes up underneath the car. So, all right, so anyway, this is just your typical stock suspension, you know, Fox body stuff you'd find, um, you know, in the junkyard, you know, standard, standard stuff. So, anyway, let's go here. All right, so the feed and return line are coming off of here. Here's our feed line. It's going through a bulkhead. I just wanted to keep it nice and tight and clean so I still have some storage here. So it's going through a bulkhead through the carbon and then going up underneath of the car. Uh, another piece of carbon goes in here. You can kind of see the rivet holes. So anyway, uh, so let's go underneath the hood. So the fuel lines come up and there's so this intake has got 24 injectors so there's 16 on a common rail for alcohol 
Um, so I'm using a set of Siemens Deca 220s and a set of 800 pound per hour AFIS injectors. Um, so the way I plumb this for the methanol side is the fuel is coming up from here from the, the pump and filter going along this rail, straight over to this rail, then back to the regulator, and then out of the regulator to back to the fuel cell. So that's the methanol side. Um, stay over there. So for the pump gas side, it's a little tight in here because I've got a lot going on, but these two hoses right here, as you can see, are going to the rails that are underneath of the intake that are be kind of hard to see but if you look in here there you go um you kind of see there's little uh ls3 height uh 80 pound per hour semen deca high impedance injectors uh that'll be used for pump gas so they're kind of buried up underneath there so the plan here is is to be able to um to drive it around on 93 you know however we want and um when it's time to race, you know, run on, on methanol. So a lot of people ask about the cable drive, right? So the, that's my, you know, that's a breaker, that's a breaker bar. This is my oil pump, okay? So it's ran by a belt. And then off the back of the oil pump, there's a, let me go up underneath there. Yeah, it's like a, oh. Right there there we go so there on the back of the oil pump you see that little waterman piece that red piece up here All right that is a hex adapter for this guy right here for our uh, fuel pump cable so the fuel pump cable will spin right off the back of the uh off the oil pump so um when i don't want the oil pump or when i don't want the fuel pump cable to spin I disconnect this. I disconnect this cable here. So, um, yeah. Also, something I'm gonna make a video on in the future here is um, a ride height sensor from Glenn Payne at Mad Racing Products. This thing's pretty slick. So, we'll get to that eventually. One of these days when I actually have time to do anything with this car. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to work on. Uh, putting this thing together and firing it up, but I will make a video showing how we do the, uh, the what's it called, the, uh, the programming and the software. So, and uh, since we're in here, I'll just walk around. John Doc's car should be done this coming weekend. This is Cameron Powers' car. Um, this is a Crown Vic with a twin turbo LS. Really, really pretty cool car. That's a grudge car. That should have been gone a while ago, but it still isn't. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll make an updated video on this here shortly, but uh, this one's just about done. So, all right, there you go. Uh, hopefully that answers some of the mechanical side of the uh, dual fuel setup and um, look forward to the, uh, the video on the programming side. See you.